Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, I'll be showing you how we can create an artificial neural network and train it by using Google Colab. Now you may have heard of this particular tool called as Google Colab and this uh, Google Colab actually provides you inbuilt GPU. So this is basically hosted in cloud, it works on, it runs on Google Cloud and it is integrated with the uh, GPU. We'll try to see what kind of model of GPUs is basically present in Google Colab and it is completely free guys. Uh, so you can basically, suppose you don't have that much powerful system and suppose you want to create a heavy artificial neural network or a convolution neural network, at that time you can basically prefer Google Colab. Uh, we'll try to see how we can start up with uh, Google Colab, how we'll be uploading the data set and what all different uh, tools can be integrated with this. And we'll also try to see different kind of configuration, how we, configuration, how we can check in Google Colab, how we can upload the data from a Google Drive into a Google Colab. We are going to see all these things. And this is my 19th tutorial. Sorry, this is my 20th tutorial, guys. In the previous tutorial, I've already shown you how to create an artificial neural network using Keras. So same code, I will try to run in Google Colab and see whether the performance, whether how fast, how quick the model will be getting trained. So this will actually give you an idea how to run a model into Google Colab so that you don't have to worry if you don't, if you have a low configuration of your laptop, okay? So uh, let's start. So to begin with guys, make sure that uh, what I'll be doing is that uh, I'll be uploading the data set, whichever data set I'm trying to work on, right? In my Google Drive. Now in this particular case, uh, Google, uh, Google Drive provides you 15 GB of uh, you know, storage unit. So what you can do is that you can download one GB Kaggle data set and you can basically upload it. So here you can see that I have, uh, I have created an ANN folder. So basically from my drive, I've created some collab notebooks and one more folder I've created as ANN. And there I've just uploaded this .csv file. Don't worry about this .py file guys. Uh, anyhow, suppose if I want to create my file over here, automatically my file gets created. So I will just show you how, how you can basically create all this particular file. So first of all, upload the data set. That is the most important thing. You need to upload the data set over there in the Google Drive. Now, after that, you just click a new window and just write in saying as Google Colab. So once you write Google Colab, all you have to go and click to this button. Now, what you can do is that you can either use GitHub or Google Drive. GitHub does not allow you to upload a huge amount of data sets, so I would prefer Google Drive. Go and select your folder where you want to create it, right? So this particular folder, wherever you want to create it, uh, then you just click on new Python 3 notebook. Okay, so as soon as you click on new Python 3 notebook, so what will happen is that your a new notebook file will get created and that will be like a Jupyter notebook only where you'll be able to execute it. So as soon as you click new notebook, you will be getting something like this, a new window. And uh, here I've just written the complete code. So uh, if, if I want to show you an example, you just have to write new notebook and automatically it will pop up a new Jupyter notebook uh, environment. Okay. And the file name will be untitled 6IPYNB. Okay. Now the next thing is that what I will try to do is that, uh, suppose just consider that this is this is my files. You'll you'll basically be it'll take some time to connect to the runtime environment. So don't worry, it will be initializing, it'll hardly take 10 to 15 seconds. Now, in this, you should first focus on what are the things that you see over here. One is table of content, code snippet, and files. This files is the most important thing, guys, because with the help of this particular files, I will be able to you know read my data set directly from my Google Drive. Now, currently you can see this drive, right? This particular folder is the access of my Google Drive. So if I just open it, you can see that uh, inside my drive, I've actually created this collab notebooks. Inside this, I've created an ANN folder, right? And if I want to read this particular file, I'll show you how to do it. So first, before going ahead and trying to understand how to, uh, you know, upload the data set from Google Drive, first of all, I need to, I like to show you different types of runtime. I told you that Google Colab provides you the facility of using GPUs, right? So how, where does this particular setting comes from? So first of all, go to the runtime. In runtime, okay, so I'll just go and show you in this first file itself, okay. So suppose how to test whether the GPU is working in this particular collab, okay. So what I'll do, I'll go to my runtime, I'll change the runtime. Now initially here I've set it to GPU, okay. 
Now suppose you also get different different options like none, GPU, and TPU. If you set it to none, that basically means this whole uh, execution will happen in the CPU itself. Okay, that is actually hosted in the cloud. So uh, suppose if you are selecting CPU, GPU, that basically means it will work on the GPU. So let me just select GPU. Okay, so you can see again verify it in the change uh, runtime environment. You basically have GPU as your hardware accelerator. You save it. Now we need to test whether the GPU is working or not. So as soon as in order to test what you have to do is that you just have to write import tensorflow as tf and you basically have tf.test.gpu device name. So by this you will be able to get if there is any GPU over there you'll just be getting that how many GPUs are actually present. So as soon as you execute it okay you can see that I'm having one GPU over here okay now the next thing is that if suppose I don't have a GPU then what will happen I'll just show you in a while. Uh, <clears throat> then we need to understand which GPU we are basically using what GPU basically this uh, Google Colab provides in order for that to understand we have some another command and that command is like from tensorflow.python.client I'm going to import device underscore lib okay and this device number so lib will say list local devices so this will basically say that how many number of devices are there which all devices are there that are basically uh, attached to this Google Colab when you are running this particular environment so as soon as I execute this it will be giving you a list of all the devices. So let's see. First, I got the device type as XLA underscore CPU, okay, and XLA underscore GPU, okay, and you can see the GPU information also over here. And after that, if you go down, you can also see that the type of GPU that we are using is Tesla T4. And if you don't know about this, guys, just go and Google it Tesla G4, T4, okay. Uh, this uh, I've checked the cost for uh, Tesla T4 uh, 16 GB uh, it is somewhere around two thousand dollars so I, I think that is a costly machine altogether but Google is just providing you for free of cost okay so make sure that whenever don't get worried whenever a huge data set you just try to execute in Google Colab. yes it may take some amount of time but it's but it's okay right it is completely for free you can basically experiment with that and then you can also get the this is how you get uh, which GPU you are basically using you're getting the information that the test uh, GPU name is Tesla T4 and this is basically developed by Tesla company itself. Uh, apart from that uh, sorry not Tesla company it's uh, Nvidia company okay so you can see over here at Google search right Nvidia uh, Tesla T4 space okay so uh, this was all about that and then if you want to know the RAM information you just have to execute this particular information itself Okay, mem uh, info and uh, memory info. This will actually give you all the information about the um, RAM itself, uh, how many total memory is there, and all all the information. Okay. And similarly, you can get the CPU information by just typing this particular command. Again, this commands are fixed, guys. You just you don't have to remember it. You just keep it somewhere, and you'll be getting all this particular information. You just have to execute it. So this is basically my CPU information. Now let us go back. Now the main thing is that. I go to the files right I see my drive but initially when you open a fresh notebook file okay and uh, at that time you will not see this particular drive you'll just see some sample data this particular data is basically provided by Google Colab itself right I hope uh, you know uh, house test mnist data set these are all uh, common data set that we basically use for learning data science right so the first thing is that I need to mount drive in order to mount drive guys always remember I'll just remove this okay I'll just remove this code see how to how easy it is to uh, mount the drive all I have to do click here I'll just select mount drive now you see as soon as I do this I'll just delete this as soon as I do this you will be you will be able to see this particular code see this as soon as you click this automatically this code will get imported I mean it will be uh, given away it will be just uh, copied and pasted away as soon as you click this so it is basically saying that from google.colab import drive and this drive is basically a Google Drive, okay? And uh, this is the path of your drive. So as soon as I do this, I'll just execute it. Now you see this. Uh, let me just. Uh, I think I had already started the session. So what I'll do is that I will restart my runtime. Let's see. Restart the runtime. I'll just restart the runtime because it is just saying that you're forcibly to. Uh, you're trying to again connect to the drive again. So uh, let me just restart it, uh, least restart the run time and what I'll do after this, I'll just execute it again. It is giving me the same thing, but it's okay. Let's see the message. 
drive already mounted at content underscore drive to attempt to forcefully remount call draw. I'll just use this parameter. But you, if you are executing it for the first time, guys, you don't have to use this. Okay. If I want to do it once more, so I'm just using this particular parameter. But if you want to do it for the first time, it will uh, it will never ask you to again remount all your drive itself. So uh, this is basically executing. We'll wait uh, till this gets executed. Okay, guys. By using that again, it uh, you know uh, uploaded the same drive. So what I did is that I reloaded the whole uh, pynb file, ipynb file. And after reloading, it got disconnected to the runtime. Now let me execute it once again. So after executing once again, uh, close that mounted at content slash drive. Okay, guys. So we got the uh, you know we were already getting this kind of messages. A drive already mounted because I had already connected to my Google Drive uh, through this Google uh, Collab that basically had mounted my drive. So in order to fix that again to start from scratch what you can do is that go to your runtime and say restart and run all okay or re reset all runtime so as soon as you click this you'll again be getting this so let me just execute it once again okay all you have to do is that first click on mount drive automatically this code will be written over here and uh, it'll just uh, you know execute now now is the right thing what is happening you know so you'll be getting something like this okay you'll be getting something like this now in this, all you have to do is that click on this authentication URL. So because we need to provide approval for the Google, Google Collab to load the data set from my Google Drive, right? So for that, I have to provide my authentication. So I'm going to go, going to use my own account saying that, yes, allow the data to be retrieved from the Google Drive. After the URL, after the authentication gets successful, you just have to copy this code. So in order to copy, just click over here and paste it over here. As soon as you paste it, just press shift enter. So after pressing shift enter, you see in the left hand side also. Okay. So as soon as this gets executed, now it is giving me a message mounted at content slash drive. I'll refresh this. Now here you can see my drive. The whole drive is basically getting uploaded here. You don't want to see my data set. So here is my data set. Uh, in order to run this guys, in order to run this, suppose I, this is my data set, right? This is my data set. I will take this particular data set and I'll show you how we can call inside the Google Collab. So first of all, to begin with guys, I have to install Keras, right? Because I'm going to use Keras library for creating my whole, uh, you know, artificial neural network. And remember guys, the artificial neural network that I had explained in the 17th tutorial, right? It is the same code only because I'm just trying to show you how you can run efficiently in Google Collab, okay? Now to begin with guys, first of all, let me see that what runtime I'm basically using. Okay. So here is my runtime. It is basically GPU. So I'm going to basically use GPU. First of all, let me just import the Keras and you have to install always guys, whenever you are resetting your runtime. Okay. Uh, so this installation will take some time. Yes, it has been uh, completed. Uh, after that, I'm going to import pandas. Pandas will already be imported in this. And next this code guys, I hope you remember this code. I'm taking the same code from my 17 tutorial, which I have actually written in the spider notebook. Same thing. Okay. So I'll just copy this and paste it over there. Okay. And then that is what I have done. I've just copied and pasted. The only thing that you need to change is that your CSV file path. Now this particular CSV is basically stored in the Google drive, right? So how to get the path. So I'll go over here. I'll click this churn modeling. I'll just go and select copy path. Now, as I do this, I'm going to copy this whole thing over there, right? So I'll just remove this. Okay. And I have copied the whole path. So this will be my path slash content slash drive slash my drive collab notebooks ann churn modeling dot csv. So this is my whole path, right? So I'm going to copy this completely and paste it over here. And that is what I have done. I have pasted it over here. Everything like print CM, print score, everything. Okay. Now let's see how quickly this will run, you know, and I know I'll not get any errors guys, because remember I've already done this in my 17 tutorial and it has been executed successfully and there I was able to get accuracy somewhere around 85%. So with the help of GP, we'll try to run this and see how it will run. It has started. Uh, I'm basically using uh, Tesla T4, which is provided by the, you know, Google Collab itself. Uh, so oh, it has started. 
you can see over here it has started there are some warnings but this is epoch one epoch two you can see the accuracy increasing 79 um and it is increasing okay it is going to 80 now and this eighth epoch now see uh it is happening it is it is working like uh you know a powerful system how the training happens and uh, definitely it is the accuracy is also increasing you can see and this is all happening in google collapse guys you are not doing anything i'm telling you okay you are not doing anything everything is running over here this is your files you are basically loaded the churn modeling dot csv right same thing you had basically created a sequential layer and then a dense layer then you have added dropout with different different kernel initialization like he normal blurred uniform everything guys this is the code right and this code you can already get it from my 17 tutorial github link right i've given it over there you just have to copy the particular file and then after this see this particular file is also getting stored in your uh, you know uh, it is getting stored in your google drive you can also download it if you want you can also download it okay uh, like you can do file okay and uh, save a copy in drive save a copy as github save you have a lot of options you can do a lot of options okay so let's see how many iterations has got over oh it's pretty cool fast right uh, i have I have basically saying that it should run for 100 epochs and within you know one minute is just in 40 epochs so it is quite fast and you can see the accuracy is also increasing so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to pause the video till it comes to the 90th iteration and then i'll continue and show you how it works okay okay guys uh 80th epoch is going on and guys within five minutes it is about to complete i've just uh, seen the time and time is just three minutes it has gone um, and it is in the 83rd epoch again uh, the data set is just 10,000 records guys uh, the neural network that i have created is hardly having you know somewhere around uh, uh, 500 to 600 parameters so it is happening quickly but when you have million of records it will still take some time but uh, I'll just complete the 100 epoch and then we'll try to see the accuracy and confusion matrix code. And I have also printed that itself in the code itself over here. You can see that print confusion matrix prints code. So let's see how many epochs are left. So 96, they're done. 97, tang, 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 99. And finally, your 100. You can see the accuracy has reached till 0.855. This is my uh confusion matrix and this is my score guys see over here the accuracy has gone the uh you know the test the training accuracy is somewhere around 84 percent the validation accuracy is almost same so this looks like a very good model altogether okay and this was how you can basically run an artificial neural network easily in a google collab the main thing is guys for those who does not have a very good machine please use google collab Google, Google has always helped you in each and every stages, like providing you good libraries like TensorFlow, right? So use this Google Collab if you feel that whenever your machine is not that good to run a TensorFlow or a Keras program, right? Or create a neural network, you can basically use this. And yes, you can upload any kind of data set because Google Drive provides you 15 GB of uh, data set, right? You can create an ANN, you can create a CNN. You can do hyperparameter hyper, uh, hyperparameter tuning also in this, and it can be basically done very quickly. Okay, so this was all about the videos, guys. I've also shown you how to use the GPU. Make sure you use it. I hope you like this particular video. If you are seen till here, guys, like the video. Uh, please do let me know if you have any questions. Share with all your friends, guys. Uh, help your friends if they want any videos like this. Uh, as this is all a free stuff. I'm putting up deep learning page from scratch so learn more and uh, you know get that feeling to do more in deep learning because this is the most uh, advanced technology being used in most of the companies right now and yes build your career i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one and all I'll see you all in the next video bye